Alrighty, g'day, looks like I'm back in the chair again. Last time I was in this chair talking to you guys, I was telling you all about how I've trained through COVID. Um, and I'll do another one on how things are now changing now that things are back to normal and racing looks like it's coming up. But first, and most importantly for the month of August, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about what's going on here. Half cut. So half cut is where you shave, dye, style, half your head, you shave your eyebrow, mo. I can't really grow a beard, but what I grew, I shaved half of it. Could shave the rest, but I'd, I'd look like this. That's up to you guys. If you want me to look like that, I'll tell you how in a couple seconds, minutes. Won't be hours, don't worry. So half cut is, I do this to raise awareness through conversation because people are like, dude, what's going on with your face? You got half a mo, like, you can't even grow one and you got half of one, what's going on? Uh, so it creates that discussion about what's going on. So then I simply just go, look, more than 50% of the rainforests around the world have been chopped down. They're not gone. Also, more than 50% of known plants are now recorded as extinct. So we've managed to lose more than 50% of the world's rainforests. More than 50% of plants are now extinct. Um, we've got to draw a line somewhere draw it here we don't want to it's it's too much already so you've got to start doing stuff shaving your face it's good it's not enough we've got to actually kick into action easiest thing you can do is um i'm just just stretch my arm i just yeah, there's some some cool things over there but oh yeah yeah you can go vegan you just simply don't eat animals and the impact that this has on the environment is so, so good. So just as a quick little detail, the animal agricultural industry is the leading cause of deforestation, global warming, all these natural, unnatural crises and disasters that are happening, kind of like the COVID situation, if this, is, if this has come from the wet markets where pretty much any wet market slaughterhouse any big chain animal murder house area, uh, the amount of bacteria that is able to grow and just become superbugs in these sort of conditions is so absurdly insane. It's almost as bad as the idea of wanting something to be murdered, abused, raped, tortured, and killed just for you to eat it or its byproducts. It's, it's so insane. If you'd like more information on this, uh, hit me up. I'll send you some links or we'll just have a chat. Um, obviously, yeah, I am vegan. I am a professional triathlete. I'm pretty good and I'm definitely not protein deficient. I'm not trying to get big guns. I'm just trying to run fast and swim fast and ride fast. So that's that. Back to half cut. Um, so if you want, I'll leave a little link in the bottom in the description where you can jump on. You can go to my uh, fundraising page on half cut. Through there, you can find out all about what Half Cut does, um, who they're teaming up with, partnering. This year, and I think the last two years, they've really been pushing to save the Daintree, which is the oldest nat natural uh, rainforest in, I think, Australia or the world. It's something big like that. Like It's, just, it's a big deal, and we kind of got to save it. Um, so I think it's $2. It's $2 is a square meter, something like this. Uh, so I'm looking at raising maybe three hundred dollars, maybe three grand, maybe thirty. However much you guys want to contribute, I'd be so stoked. Um, also, if you want to get me looking even more funnier, it's kind of like uh, me enticing you to help uh, buy this land to protect it. And when you buy the land, it buys it for the nat um, the natives that live there. So all the um, the local indigenous uh, peoples. They then look after the land and because that's what they've grown up looking after, they know how to actually look after the land properly. So instead of bulldozing it and taking it for mining and all those sorts of shit and farming, they just look after it and make sure it keeps going. So the details. All right, so I've started with a little bit of facial hair. It took me like five months to grow. Through, that's my COVID. That's my COVID growth. All this. That's my ISO beard growth that didn't really grow i shaved half of it off and i'll probably have to keep shaving every two three weeks i know it's a rough gig it's like every 20 days <sighs> toughy um 
So then, at $50, I'm actually currently at $30 and I've only just set up the link, so we're, I'm almost there. At $50, I will wax my right leg. Um, usually this, I, I do shave my legs. Let's see if you can get a close up. It's, it's gotten pretty hairy, it's out of whack because there's no racing or anything. I haven't bothered shaving, so I'm like a mammoth right now, so waxing's gonna be absolutely fun. I'll make sure I record it, video it, and share it to you guys so you get to enjoy me suffering because why not? Might as well do it for a good cause. Um, at $100, I will wax half of my snail trail and chest. So I'll, I won't show you right now, I'll show you when it's done. If we get to $100, get to $100 and you'll find out what that looks like. If we get to $200, I'll shave half, I'll shave that. So this is what I'll look like. Wait, did I get it all? That, that's how I'll look. If we get to $200, if we get to $300, I'll shave my right eyebrow off. So I'll look, I can't make that pretend to disappear, but I'll have no hair on my eyebrow if we get to $300. And if we get to $500, I will make sure there is no hair on the right side of my body. Armpits, arms, I guess. I don't really have hairy arms, but I'll wax them too. I've got a hairy butt. I'll wax my right butt cheek if we get to 500 bucks. I've put it out there. It's on the web. If we get $500 for half cut on my foundation fundraising page, I will wax my white my right butt cheek and everywhere else that has hair. Get to it.